Hey friends, it's Crystal. Welcome back to our channel. And if it's your first time stopping by, welcome. We share business resources, tips and tricks for booth and store owners. We also like to share our junking trips, thrift store hauls, and makeovers that we do on the junk that we find. We also have a blog where we have lots of information. We have printables that you guys can download and use in your crafts or print and sell in your booth because we love helping you make money. And if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit that like button as it helps our channel to grow. But today I just wanted to share some of my um, items that I have been grabbing at my local Dollar Tree stores. I've been getting this stuff now for a little over a month because when they put the seasonal stuff out, if you don't get it, it's gone. <laughs> so this is a compilation of um, different stores and different things that I've been grabbing. <clears throat> I don't have a booth right now. I'm taking a break, but I still like to craft. It, it's, uh, <laughs> it's therapy. Um, it's a stress reliever for sure. So um, some of this stuff I'm going to keep and some of it I'm going to gift for um, an Easter basket for friends and family. But I know you guys like to see some of this stuff because if you know if they're little cute items you either use those in your staging for your booth or some of you like to you know get cute little signs and sell in your booth and there's nothing wrong with that because we cannot make every single thing and we have to have some cute little items like these signs to get you know the customer's attention and pull them into your booth but these little Easter signs I have seen dealers do over the years and they mark them up some are like five or six dollars and then some will embellish with other stuff I'm seeing these trellises this year um not in the Dollar Tree. I mean, I've always seen those, but I'm seeing those in people's booth now. And then there was the Dollar Tree fencing. You guys remember me doing that um, faux wrought iron over my booth years ago. And this is over in the $5 section. We have a store here in town. I can't remember what it's called, but it's, it's the Dollar Tree. I think it's Dollar Tree Plus. But anyway, they have that section in the store where one aisle is $3, the other aisle is 5 so they had some really cute stuff and i don't know they've just really stepped up their craft section and the decor also like i really thought these were cute i would probably change out um, the little signs and the color but anyway i know a lot of you like to buy your items because you stage at home and you know sell your furniture pieces online like facebook marketplace so I just wanted to share what they have. Um, again, every Dollar Tree is different, so you never know what you're getting. It's, you know, I can go in one Dollar Tree here and then across town go in another one and they'll be wiped out or maybe not even have the same selection. But I just wanted to share some of the stuff with you guys. I grabbed some of these little styrofoam bunnies and then they have the little mini bunnies. I'm gonna use those like as floral picks. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the bigger ones, but Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. This is the spring haul that I recently got at Dollar Tree, not at one particular store, but this is a collection of stuff I have been getting for the last month or so. Just as I'm in the Dollar Tree and I see stuff, I grab it. Some of it I'm keeping, some of it I'm going to make crafts out of, but let's start over here. Found these cute little styrofoam bunnies. I know this is so loud, I'm sorry. He'll be cute painted. And then there were these little mini bunnies. I think there's eight in a pack. And then, have you guys seen these little eggs this year? There's six. These are plastic. These are cute painted. Of course, I always grab the little terracotta pots because those are cute to um, tie in a jute string and stuff some Spanish moss and paint it. Those look cute. And these frames I thought looked really cute. They look... Um, like real wood but they're not grabbed these little pretty straws I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those 
in this pretty wire basket. I'm gonna keep it. And then I thought these were pretty. Two in a pack, or not a pack, but two in a, whatever it's called. <laughs> and I thought this was cute too. I'm keeping these. Finally found these. Um, I'm hoping they'll fit down on the old ball jars that I have. So they're like little flower frogs. Found this cute hanger. I'm gonna redo it. I don't like the colors, but I wanted the base. And then I found these Easter eggs to do like a garland. Here are the carrots. Here are the chick chickadees <laughs> and the rabbits. And that's everything. Oh, and then the, the little roller cutter. I've never used one of these, so I'm gonna try it and see. But that was it, that was everything. So stay tuned for some crafts. Here are a few of the items that I purchased. And then here are the clay pots once they're painted with a jute string and you stuff them with floral moss. These sold really well for me. Um, these were in a booth that I had many years ago. Um, of course, you could put your own spin. You could paint them with different colors, use ribbon. Um, you could stuff them with that scrunched up craft paper. Um, I mean, all kinds of things. And then here they are staged in my booth. This booth was an old booth from years ago. Okay, I've been seeing these all over. People have been making these over. And I have a base coat. I just stuck those on a um, skewer and stuck it down into styrofoam like everybody else and spray painted them. This is the first coat. And then I am going to work my magic. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but I wanna do something different. And here's the cute little crate that it comes in. And then here is that little frame out of the wrapper. It looks like wood. I'm not gonna do anything to this. I'm just gonna add a cute little Easter graphic in there. And then here are the little flower frogs open. I had bought these little jars at, I think these came from Dollar General. Can you see on it, it says old fashioned and it says Mason at the bottom. So I just took the top off and put one on there so now i have a cute little jar that i can put some flowers in and i also have one that i have my scrabble tiles in there it is so i just thought that was cute to put scrabble tiles and then here is one of the Easter bass or Easter bunnies, the little star phone bunnies. So he just sits flat.